Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers, the Ghost of New Eden Town. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough of this cinematic game, which is a hybrid of uh, The Witcher, uh, Dark Souls and other story-driven games, very close to a vampire. Last time we arrived in New Eden, found out that there is a huge curse going on and that Charles, our mentor, has perished and apparently has manifested as a ghost. So, are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. That is exactly what we need to do. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be alright. I doubt it. But I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. Okay, so we need to go to the cemetery and find out what is really happening. Docks are closed for sabotage by fire. Well, wonderful. This fire can't have started on its own. Not in this cold. And our only shop, and that would be somewhere here, is closed as well. That is really unfortunate. Seems to be up there, or here, rather. Is this a shop? Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell me about the curse, if you will. I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir, and to do it I need detail, if you please. A banisher must have charms, uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness. The shadow of early death. Weather, too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. 
I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandon this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry spectres and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but Good. I never refuse a deal. Let's take a look what we can find. Um, we already own quite a bit of leather, fur, linen, and wool. And he does have uh, resources. We could sell something, but at the moment I do not yet understand what all of those resources do. So for now, we're saying farewell. I bid you gave good day, us Squire a lot Paris, of information. And thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Okay, time to go to the cemetery, but before we do that. We find ourselves quite a bit of loot there. All right. Let's get this moving. A wisp. So close to town. Cemetery is closed by the order of the governor. Well, ain't that wonderful? Where are you leading me? Dang it. First time that we got hit. There we go. More of you? No one is safe here. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Time for us to make sure we're not injured. One of the things that I haven't fully figured out yet is whether or not you get your healing potions back. As you can see, you have three of them. And... Uh, I don't know if they shall last for the entire game or if uh, they are essentially just for a certain chapter. So that's for us to find I've out. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Before we go down there, let's first of all check what's over here. 
Many dead in more recent years. That's the grave of our good friend, Charles Stephen Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Okay, we're gathering, and this here is important, seashore candles for instance, those are ritualistic flowers, so good to have a couple of them. Jump down there, but we've already been in that direction. And there is something here, elsewise, our hand wouldn't be glowing as it is. A memory lingers here, I might be able to reveal it. Good, these are the rituals. So we can either hearkening reveals an echo, which is the memory that we talked about make a ghost manifest or find a scorch a force scorch to appear uh, but we want to reveal an echo what i picked up earlier should suffice in each stain hides a story In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> Good, we find Charles' Bible here. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Before we make him manifest, though, let's gather a little bit more material. Pirate. And fungi. Okay, cool. Like I mentioned, the one thing that I learned about this game is do make sure that you do have enough resources because rituals like this aren't coming in cheap so you need to be able to pay for them everyone buried here died in 1677 a previous epidemic
Let's force Charles to appear, shall we? Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. And here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed... amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... I don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. 
Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Tia, she gave him the care he needed. Say what you want. The game nails the mood. Where do you think he is now? He's... I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Say what you want, but the game definitely nails the tone and the mood. Poor Charles needed to go. That is very unfortunate. And we learn something. You can banish ghosts, but you can also let them ascend. More to that is soon to come. And we're also reaching kind of as much as I know about the game, so everything soon on will be a blind playthrough. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Alright. Let's get to our house and rest for the night. As this was more than an eventful welcoming.
all roads apparently have been closed. Good, time for us to rest. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport? Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard, even for the dead. Dies bind fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't eh? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... How did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Foresta. And here, she took her fire bane. She says, I'm the reckless one. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. New quest started, you? Death oh. to the Dead. Good, we solved that one. And we have completed the first quest as you can see there are a couple more to come in the meeting now sorry oh 
Okay, time for us to find out what happened to our beloved. Who's there? And there? Why would you go up there alone? You know the drill. As always, check for resources before you continue. Another close road. I'm hoping. And here! Good, read fights. Those you specters have seen Antea. Just as well. Breaking all of the destructibles. trying to find if something is hidden in the crates good answer is no Hit this guy a couple of times. Followed up by a nice banishing. And we're finding more and more. Uh, resources. Still don't know what uh, the spectral dust is for, but if I was to take a guess, it'll become important later, either to upgrade or to learn new techniques. Maybe new rituals. The game so far doesn't strike me as one where combat is the center. It is kind of nicely. See how they run. Run, red, run. Accomplishing, uh, accompanying the whole storyline, but never uh, is the prime focus. doesn't look great. Run. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they... And there? Blind. All blind. Oh, Red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. Antea, are you hot? Where are you? <laughs> I'm here, my love. What happened? <laughs> I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself. 
God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Will you slay the righteous? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Trouble. He will suffer like I do. We only wish to speak with you. it hard to comment whilst trying to avoid all of her attacks. Your lover will betray you too! We are not your enemy. Oh, come on. All right, let's try that again. All right, let's try this again. There's um, no What did we learn from the last time? She hits hard. Oh, she has four attacks. Gotta be careful here. One, two, three. If you're far enough away, she can't hit her fourth attack. That's good to know. Vital information. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> She's duplicating. Not good. One, two, three, four. Interrupted her. Very good. Keep it going, Saiken. Good job. If you're not rooting for yourself, no one will. So give it a little bit of a cheering. One, two, three. Oh, no, no, no. Betrayer! I believe you failed! Keep it going. You can't reach me! One, two, three, four. Move nicely away. Got her pattern. Keep the uptime and vanish. There you go. Suck it up. Excuse me. Where's Anthea? If you laid a finger on her. You what? Come to her aid? There is no aid. There is only. Retribution. Give him back. 
How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your marrow, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. <gasps> no! <gasps> Will you come to her aid now, when all is lost? If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but... I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but... But do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <gasps> of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This 
isn't what I want. Not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why'd you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you, but my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... Or when I need to. Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Alright, so I think that is a perfect cliffhanger for what we're going to see in the next episode. We're not sure. Is she gone? Is she not? I haven't played uh, so far. So all of this is new for me as well. Death to the Dead has finished and now we're going to the ends of the earth in order to hopefully get her back. It would be an absolute failure of us if we wouldn't get her back anyways that's it that's all i had for today if you enjoy banishers of the ghost of eden leave a comment and a like down below try to spook out that like button in particular and see you in the next episode bye bye